Hey, what's happening, guys? Dan Darrow here with another options and play video update. Uh, so, I hope you guys are loving all this volatility uh, because we are um, we're getting some we're getting some some big swings. Um, what I talked about yesterday um, certainly will continue to apply um, for as long as this type of trading range or this type of action remains in place. And um, you know, with with today's triple digit gap open turning into a loss, I mean, you're, you're, you're just seeing like another example, another recent example of, of why it's super, super, super important to have um, targets and stops in mind prior to entering these, these swing trades, okay? Um, catalysts are a little bit different. Earnings plays are a little bit different. Obviously, you want to have some sort of target. Um, stops might not be applicable though because I mean you know if the thing has a big move up or down gaps bigger uh, gaps up bigger down um, you know obviously like stops can be very challenging but for swing trades in this tape I mean you always need to have it's always smart to have some sort of target or stop in mind but especially in this type of tape because the moves are playing out very fast the reversals are taking place very quick and um, you know Gains can evaporate very, you know, in the blink of an eye or, or you know, if, if you get down to like a stop, it could blow through it very fast. So it's just it's just important to have these in place prior to getting into the trade. And um, we, we talked about them in the past and, and you know, I, I tried to lay it out very, very um, clearly in the, the trade ideas that go out each night, um, the, like the levels for the target. So like the preliminary target. Uh, so I like to have a preliminary target and I like to have a secondary target um, and also some sort of idea of a stop range. So the stop range and the target range, they might be a, a price point or they might be a, a debit level, right? So like a debit level would be like maybe like a 50 to 100 um, percent return on the position, right? Or a, maybe like a 40 to 50 to 60 percent loss on the position. That would be like a stop versus like a target would be like, you know, 100 percent. I'm in that vicinity. Um, sometimes it's it's levels. Activision, okay? So this is like a recent swing idea. Um, when it got back through this moving average cluster range, um, it really started to set up well again. You can see its stock is in a very well-defined, <clears throat> right? In a very well-defined long-term trend here, uh, long-term range. And basically, so basically, when it, when it got back through the moving average congestion area, that basically opened up the possibility for a retest of 50. And then above 50, you can see, I mean, the stock has uh, a plenty of room, could have a very significant pent up breakout, right? Now, the way like the trade stood was when it was entered, it was in, in the October call, right? It was looking for a preliminary move up into like the 5150 area to retest, um, basically a 2019 high because it, it kind of double topped here right August and January so that was that was the preliminary move um, and then the secondary move would be uh, a little bit further up into like the the um, late November gap down um, kind of like high in like the 55 to 56 area so this morning you know to go to a shorter time frame um, let's go, let's see. so this morning stock Blew through 50. Um, there was news um, on the the relaunch of World of Warcraft. Stock blew through 50. Got through 5150. Um, was acting great. The market was up. Um, things were you know like the the calls. There was a huge block of, of short term calls, but you know it seemed like the thing was was you know destined to just keep running and running and running. But that's why it's really important to respect the targets, right? I mean, it, not not only did it hit the the preliminary. Right. So not only did it hit the preliminary um, technical target, it hit the that 100% um, debit target, right? So when when these these swing trades get to like the 100% return, um, I like to um, I, I like to take money off or 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 you know into that in that ballpark. I like to take money off whenever they get into like that 100% range. So it was um, over 100%. It was into the technical target. So even though it seemed like it was still ready to go. It still made sense to scale back risk, right? Um, and you know, we've talked about the, the way to, to manage options, how you roll up, um, right? You know, we we've gone over that in the past. So if you're interested, you know, you can definitely find that. We've had plenty of videos on that. So you rolled up. Now, what you notice is is right is that it, it rolled right back down. So I mean, again, just another example of of why 
having these targets in mind um, prior to entering the trade are super important because it, it hit the target and then it pulled back, you know, a dollar, dollar and a half after after hitting that. So, you know, if, if you're not reacting to these or, or maybe if, if you don't have a game plan in place, maybe maybe, you know, you're 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 kind of like missing out on some of this potential because, um, you know, you're you're kind of waiting, watching, thinking these things are really going to go. But in the market of, you know, kind of a range bound, choppy, volatile market, we're seeing a lot of these types of reversals where, you know, things look fantastic one moment. All of a sudden, maybe there's a tweet and, you know, the thing just, you know, the bottom falls out and reverses. So it's just another example why it's super, super important to have some sort of game plan in place prior to entering the trade, right? So that's the upside targets or, or downside targets if it's a bearish trade and also stop ranges too, right? So you want to have some sort of stop range in mind, whether it's a technical stop range or a debit stop range, right? Can't, you know... I hope by like the the tone of my voice, you know, you kind of get the idea that it, I can't stress this enough. It's in, it's so 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 important, um, not only you know in this type of market, but just in general. I mean, you need these types of you need these types of game plans when you're entering swings because um, sometimes things can develop very quick, and instead of reacting, you already have like you know you already have that 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 target in mind, and you know what to do when, once it gets into that area. All right. So, um, got some earnings coming up. Wednesday will be a little bit busier. Thursday will be busier, just on the earnings front. Um, got some software. You got some retail. So keep an eye out for for trade ideas on those. Um, we are getting into the holiday weekend, so things might slow down a little bit on Friday, but you never know, right? It's possible, but also we're also kind of in a volatile um, little period here, so it might stay busy through Friday. Um, the new month is coming. September is going to be here before you know it. Um, and um, this just should be a, a, a fairly busy stretch, even though we don't have a ton of, of um, news expected on the calendar. Um, but still plenty to do, all right? So um, best of luck if you guys play anything. Hope you have a wonderful night, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow.